Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body Now. This is the first workout of week four, the final week of the challenge. I'm so glad you are doing it with me and you're right here with me. Let's not waste any more time. We have our warm up and our glute activation circuit on the timer here. So let's get that going. We're going to start with a straight arm torso twist. 30 seconds per side. So just take your arm, it's nice and straight out at shoulder level, and give me a big twist. The arm is like wiping, swiping, right? And you're getting a nice twist through the torso. We'll start on this left side and then we'll go to the right side. Doesn't that feel good? <sighs> All right, so I want you to put your game face on. We're gonna have an awesome workout. Same thing, other side, let's go. Oh. We're gonna start with the glutes, hitting the glutes hard today. Finish with back, biceps, and rear delts. Just keep swinging here. Almost there. So we're gonna do a little balance move. If you need help with balance, you might wanna hold on to the back of your couch or something, okay? Start with one leg out, tip into your arabesque, stand and drive the knee up. Kick out into your arabesque, balance, <laughs> drive the knee up. Focus. Almost done on this side. Kind of get your balance. Okay, I'm gonna start with the knee up. I'm gonna tip over into my arabesque. Come up, pull that knee up and in. Stay really strong through your torso. Look at a spot in front of you to help you balance. Don't rush this. Nice. Almost there. And give me a hamstring curl march. Now I'm going to turn my finish tracker on. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Just kicking your heels back and marching in place. There you go. Ooh, just make sure you're standing up tall. Right, shoulders back and relax. Abdominals are in. We're going to get down and we're going to do the world's greatest stretch next. We're gonna spend 30 seconds on one side. So, start in your plank, take your foot up, all right? Then, you're gonna take this hand right here, the back hand, slide it under, hold it for three seconds, rotate up, Ooh. slide it under, twist, 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 push your hips down, and twist. That 30 seconds goes fast, right? Switch to the other side. Take this hand, slide it under, twist and come up. Okay, slide it under, scoop it under I should say. Reach and extend and come up. Scoop it under, Reach and extend, this feels so good. It's opening up your hips, warming up your core. Okay, so go ahead and put your booty band on. We're gonna do two rounds of just a three exercise glute activation circuit. So start with the band just over or just under your knees. And give yourself room to do two lateral squat walks. So, get into that quarter squat. Step one, step two, squat pulse for two. Side step one, side step two, little pulse squat for two. There you go. Step, step, pulse, and pulse. Step, step, pulse, and pulse. Just like that, try to keep your hips low. Don't stand all the way up. Pulse, and pulse, step, okay. Get on your mat. We're gonna do abduction in glute bridge. 
So you're gonna hold your hips up and just press against your band there. Squeezing your hips, the side glutes. Glute max is working to push your hips up high. Don't let your hips start to fade. No, keep them up as you press against the band. Good job. Okay. Whew. Just 30 seconds here. Keep it going. Okay. So, I have two band-aids in the back of my heels and they're kind of annoying me and coming off. I'm just gonna take them off. <laughs> okay. Get over on all fours. And give me a donkey kick. Oop, I'm gonna bring this up. Donkey kick. It's bent. Let me fix it. What's going on here? <laughs> there we go. Good job. Press that heel up towards the ceiling. I am already feeling warm. How are you guys? Make sure you're pulling your abs in. Switching to the other side. Right into it. Let's go. <sighs> Press against that band. Foot put towards the ceiling. Abs are tight. Spine is long and neutral. Let's go. Wake up those glutes. <sighs> okay. Okay. Just a quick little rest. Just 30 seconds, and we're gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna go and throw my band-aids away. In the meantime, I want you to sip your water. Okay, really quick, we have like 12 more seconds. All right, double side step with a double pulse. Set your hips back. Side step, side step, pulse, pulse. Just like that. There you go. Try to stay low. Take big side steps and don't drag your foot. That foot that, that is the second foot to move, this foot, pick it up. Don't drag it. <laughs> side step, side step, pulse. <sighs> Okay, get down on the floor. Just 10 seconds in between moves, I do believe. Push your hips up. There you go, press against that band. Just breathe. Are you already feeling it? Yes. Okay. Nice work. Press against the band, press against the band, press, 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 press. You got this. Oh. Rounding out the glutes. Okay, roll over. Banded donkey kick, so get on all fours. I'm gonna start with my back leg first this time. Up and down. Foot put to the ceiling. Just breathe, get into the rhythm of it. Squeeze the glutes like crazy. And just keep that positive mindset going. Hmm. Nice work, nice work. Let's go. Same thing, other side. Okay, this is the last little bit of our glute activation circuit. Then we're gonna stand up, take the band off, and you can either grab your heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna be working with a kettlebell. Okay, abs still in, nice and strong. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those glutes. You got this. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and take off your band. Don't let that mat or your step get too far, okay? Because the second exercise is gonna be hip thrusts and we're gonna be using that bench to lean up against. The first little set here, 
We're going to be supersetting sumo squats, right? And then bent over sumo pulses. We're going to do 12 full range of motion, normal tempo sumo squats. And then the last 15 reps, we're going to be pulsing, but hinged forward. Not pulsing from here, but pushing our hips back and pulsing. When you push your hips back like that, it concentrates everything more into the glutes. You're gonna feel it, I promise. Okay. I'm gonna get my little one minute timer up because there will be one minute in between sets, just like we've been doing this whole time. Okay. I'm gonna grab my heaviest kettlebell. And then I'm going to rack it like a goblet so I have room to go as deep as I'd like. Are you ready? Let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Hinge forward and pulse for 15, 14, 13, 12. Strong abs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Push through your heels. Four, three, two, one. Put it down. Someone is done. Let's take a minute of rest and recovery. Ooh, catch your breath. I'm breathing harder. Oh, okay. Exercise one. First set done. Two more to go. So, make your assessments. How did it feel at the end? Was it super challenging, those last few reps? If so, great. Keep it right where you are. Okay, if it was easy, can you go heavier? If so, do that. If you can't go heavier, think about getting a further range of motion. Maybe I do 15 pulses, but you go ahead and you do five extra pulses. If you don't have an option of going heavier, do more pulses at the end. Do like five more pulses at the end. All right, make it challenging for you. Make adjustments as you need to, to get the best workout and to feel that intense burn at the end. Okay, here we go. Feet are wide. Toes turned out, chest up, abs in, let's go. Imagine yourself spreading the floor apart on the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Hinge forward and pulse. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put it down. Set two is done. Oh, I love the way that feels. So again, with the pulse, we push our hips back, abs are in, shoulders back, and you're really driving through the heels. I like to sometimes remind myself to really push through the heels by just picking up my big toe, and it helps redirect the energy through the heels to really make sure the glutes are activated. Okay, 35 more seconds. Then we're on to the last set. Okay. We're hustling today, right? We're gonna hustle for that muscle. Working on building some lean body mass so we can have a really healthy metabolism, a healthy body composition, right? So we can be strong, building muscle so that we can move more efficiently in everyday life and just feel better. Okay, it's about to go off. Last set, guys. All right, pick up your weights. Feet are wide, toes turned out, abs in, chest up. 
for 12, 11, 10, 9, spread that floor apart on the way up, 8, 7, 6, 5, whoo, 4, 3, 2, come on, last one, 1, hinge forward, pulse, whoo, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, put it down, awesome, so in this minute, we're going to be setting up for our, oh, I can't breathe, <laughs> for our hip thrust drop set. So a drop set, everybody, is when you do multiple sets in a row, and with each set, you reduce the weight. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna reduce the weight by starting with single leg hip thrust first. So all of our body weight's gonna be on one leg, right? And we're gonna do 10 reps. And then, we're gonna go to a B stance. So, a B stance, if you remember, is our kickstand. So this is single leg. B stance is when this leg goes out, just the heel down. It's just there for balance, still 90% of the weight on this side. We're gonna do 10 reps there. And then we're gonna have a regular hip thrust to finish with 10 reps. Okay, so that's gonna be our drop set, one side then the other. And I'm gonna have my light, just 10 pound kettlebell on the side that's working. If you are still just perfecting single leg hip thrust with your body weight, that's fine. All right, so back of your shoulders up against the bench there. Pull your heels back. Come up and start at the top. Pick up this leg. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep your chin tucked, look forward. Three, two, and one. Put your heel down, your kickstand is down. Still 90% of the weight over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull, pull this foot back, but keep it loaded on one side. Come on, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, come on, 5, 4, oh, I can feel it over here, 3, 2, 1, sit all the way down. We're going to take three nice, long, deep breaths, then we're going right into the other side, okay? So inhale, and exhale. Two more, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. One more. All right. Start with the hips up. Chin tucked. Looking forward. Pick up this leg. Let's go. Single leg runs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, come on, get full hip extension. Give me that kickstand. Still most of your weight's on this working side. Two, three, chin tucked, looking forward. Five, six, pushing strong through this side here. Eight, nine, ten, both feet parallel, let's go. But you're still unilaterally loaded on this side. Two, three, four, five, push those hips up, six, full hip extension, seven, eight, nine, and ten, nice work, now here's your full minute to rest and recover, holy, drop sets y'all, <laughs> I really enjoy using drop sets, and again, drop sets are a great way to challenge yourself, especially when you're at home. 
because you get more volume in and it really helps you burn out at the end. So that was a three set drop set, right? We did single leg, B stance, and then standard, right? That was three different sets. You can do just a two set drop set. Maybe if you have biceps, you're gonna work your biceps and you have 10 pound weights and maybe you can do 10 to 12 and then maybe you have a set of five pounds weights, you put down the tens and you just go to the fives. That's a two set drop set. You can do a five set drop set, <laughs> right? Depending on what equipment you have. So we're only gonna do this one more time on each side. Get your mind right. You got it, let's get down and ready. It's about to ding on us. Okay. Pull your hips in, chin tucked. As you pick up your hips, you're looking forward, pick up this leg, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set up that kickstand, B stance ones for 10. Nine, push your hips all the way up. Eight, seven, most of your side weight is on this side. Five, four, push strong through that working leg. Two, one, let's go. Parallel stance now for 10. Nine, this leg's helping more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit all the way down, three nice deep breaths. <sighs> Feel yourself relax. Get a little mini rejuvenation with each exhale. This last one, get that killer mindset going, ready? Okay, hips up, pick up that other foot. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, yes, three, two, and one. B stance for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, come on, three, yes, two, and one parallel stance, keep going for 10, nine, eight, seven, full hip extension, squeeze those glutes, six, five, four, whoo, three, yes, two, last one, squeeze, 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 bring it down, fantastic work. I'm gonna get this little weight out of the way here. Okay. We are on to our last superset for the lower body. And I'm gonna go back to my heavier weight. I'm gonna get this out of the way. We are going to superset eccentric RDLs. That means we're gonna go down in three slow counts with some kettlebell swings. We did kettlebell swings last week too. I liked them so much, I brought them back for this week. They're a great booty exercise that also hits shoulder stabilization, core, and gets your heart rate up. So it's one of those exercises that has lots of bonuses to it. Okay. Let me demonstrate really quick what this RDL is gonna look like. If you have dumbbells and you have two dumbbells, on the way down they kind of slide down your shins and all the way up you kind of, they kind of rotate out, right? But the weight stays in close to your body the whole time. So if we start at the top, the eccentric is as we're pushing our hips back. We're gonna go down in slow three counts. Three, two, one, and then up strong. That's what it's gonna look like. So you have your weights. Pick them up, we're gonna start from the top. Abs in, shoulders back and relaxed, chest up. Let's go, down three, 
two, one, and up. Two, two, three, and up. Three, two, three. Up strong. Four, two, three. Up strong. Five, two, three, and up. Six, two, three, and up. Seven, two, three, and up. Come on. Eight, two, three, and up. We're going to ten. Nine, two, three, and up. Ten, two, three, and up. Put it back down. We're going to start our kettlebell swings from the floor there. Remember, this is a hip hinge. Same motion as you were going back, hips go back, abs in. The weight is moving because you're thrusting your hips forward so much, not because you're lifting from the shoulders. The shoulders are just stabilizing everything, stabilizing the weight. Got it? Here we go. 15 strong swings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze those cheeks. Yes! Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, here's our minute rest and recover. Whew. Just two more sets of lower body today. <sighs> Take nice deep breaths, sip your water. So, we're in the middle of May here when I'm recording this. You're watching it last week in June. But it has been so rainy. I don't know if you can tell from my windows out there. It's like, it's 10.39 in the morning, but it seems kind of dark and dreary out there. <laughs> I wanted May to be sunnier, but that's okay. Right, the rain is good. We need the rain. It helps wash away all the pollen too. We get really bad pollen around this time. But enough about that because it's about to go off. We're gonna get ready for set number two. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off before it dings at us because we're ready to go. Abs in, hips hinge back, pick it up. We'll start at the top. Whew, relax those shoulders down and back. Ready, let's go. Three, two, one, up quick and strong. Two, two, three, and up. Keep your back nice and flat and neutral. Two, three, and up. Four, two, three, and up. Five, two, three, and up. Six, two, three, and up. Seven, two, three. Squeeze those hamstrings and glutes on the way up. Eight, two, three, and up, nine, two, three, squeeze on the way up, ten, two, three, and up, carefully put it down, take a nice big breath, grab that kettlebell, give me 15 swings, let's go, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, okay. One minute rest. Come on. Okay. Whew. My goodness gracious. Guys, only one more superset left of lower body today. I hope your glutes are feeling it, right? Hamstrings feeling it, maybe a little bit of quads, but mostly everything we're doing has an emphasis on the glutes because Mondays are glutes and back muscles, right? Okay, so if you notice, I don't do anything crazy. I'm doing variations of your common, tried and true body movements, squats, lunges, deadlifts, thrust, vertical presses, vertical pulls, 
horizontal presses, horizontal pulls, all different variations. You don't have to be doing crazy stuff. If you can perfect those compound, tried and true, basic moves, and progress and get better form and go heavier over time, you're gonna get the results you want. All right, pick up that weight, check your posture, shoulders down and back, abs in, nice and slow on the way down. Let's go, three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one. Legs long, but knees are soft. Three, two, three, four, two, three, <laughs> squeeze all the way up, five, two, three, and up, six, two, three, give me four more, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, feel that nice stretch on the way down, nine, two, three, last one, ten, two, Three, squeeze up, carefully put it back down. And one nice deep breath. Reach for the kettlebell, let's go. 15 strong swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice work. Oh, I just hit my shin with that. That was not smart. <laughs> All right, we have about a minute to rest. We're gonna get set up for pull-ups. If you have a pull-up bar, get set up for that. If you don't have a pull-up bar, put your mat down. You're gonna do Superman with lat pull. All right, let's get ready for that. Okay, everybody, we are on to back, biceps, and rear delts. And you know we gotta get some pull-ups in in our last week of the challenge. So last week we just did timed sets, so we just tried to go for a whole 35 seconds. Before that we were counting reps and we were up to 11. So today we're gonna try to get reps of 12. Do as many as you can with your most challenging form and then modify as you need to or rest pause as you need to. Remember, it's okay to get down, take a break. It's okay to jump even more to help you get up. Just finish those reps, try to get to 12. Sound good? All right, it better sound good because we're gonna do it anyway. Let's do it, 12 of these. Ah, exciting, let's go. some bent over rear flies. That's what we're super setting. So I have my bench here. I'm gonna do a seated one. You can just do a standing one if you want. And remember, you don't have to go really heavy. The rear delts are a small muscle group. It doesn't take much to get them to feel it. So whether you're seated or standing, torso long, hinge forward, abs in, leading with the elbows. Elbows go out wide for 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, nice work, 3, 2, and 1. Here is our minute rest and recovery. Grab your water walk around. I'm gonna go grab my water. I forgot to bring it over here with me. Okay. Oopsie. Oh. One set down, two more to go. Have that killer mindset. You can do this. This is the final week. 
I want you imagining way back to week one when we were doing pull-ups um, or the band lap pulls or if you're doing the Superman with the lap pull, think about how you've improved since then. Has it gotten a little bit easier? Can you do more reps without it burning so much? Right, that's what it's about. Progressively overloading and getting sh progressively stronger and challenging ourselves progressively week by week. So it's about to ding. Let's get ready for set number two. Okay. Mind over matter, let's go. Slow and controlled on the way down. 11, 12, oh my goodness. Right into those rear delt flies. Think about pulling your belly button in. Elbows are soft. Turn so that your palms are facing behind. You're gonna lead with the elbows with the pinkies up. Let's go, elbows out wide for 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, good job. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. Two sets down, just one more to go. Enjoy this rest. Okay. I think I actually got to sip any water the first round or this the last break because I was too busy talking. There we go, I got my sip in. I'm so excited to be in week four of the challenge with you. We're gonna finish strong. I hope that you are just feeling amazing and seeing some positive changes in your mindset in your habits, in your relationship with your body, right? In your relationship with food. Okay, not to mention, I hope you're noticing yourself getting stronger. Okay, less than 10 seconds. Last set, best set, let's get ready to go. Okay. Whew. 12 reps, me and you are in it together, let's go. goodness 12 nice and slow and controlled on the way down I'm so glad those are done <laughs> let's do these rear down flies oh okay abs in chest open shoulders back away from your ears hinge forward palms back lead with the elbows pinkies up I think that covered it we're all set up let's go for two Three, keep your belly button pulled in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, eleven and twelve. Nice work. Okay, meet me back over in our normal workout space and we will finish out this workout. All right, everybody, so we are gonna get ready to do 
some rows super set with some hammer curls so I'm gonna get my dumbbells out for the rows I'm gonna do 15 pounds now we're gonna have a two count pause at the peak contraction so you don't want to go your heaviest that you would normal go because we are increasing the time under tension and hence the intensity and the difficulty level with that two count pause so not as heavy as you normally would if you were just pumping out normal tempo reps but I think that's it. Let's get to it. It's been about a minute and we got everything ready to go. So grab your weights and this is gonna be a supinated grip, which means an underhand grip or palms out, palms away from you. All right, shoulders back, chest up, abs in, knees are soft, hinge your hips back and let's go. Pull it up and hold for one 1,000, two 1,000 down, up and hold one 1000 two 1000 down three hold one 1000 two 1000 down four one 1000 two 1000 five squeeze two 1000 six squeeze down seven one 1000 two 1000 eight squeeze good Nine and squeeze, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. One more, up and hold, squeeze. This last one really slow on the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do hammer curls. If you wanna go a little bit lighter, you can. I'm gonna try my first set, keeping it at 15. Let's see how that goes. How many are we gonna do? We're gonna do 10 to 12 reps. All right. Let's grab them. Hammer curls means a neutral grip. Palms facing in, elbows in tight. Next to your body, chest up, abs in. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, whew, 11, and 12. Okay, here's our minute to rest. One of those down, two more to go. So it's important to train your muscles from all different angles. So a little bit earlier, I was talking about your basic compound movements and how you have vertical pulls, like pull-ups or cable lap pulls, and you have horizontal pulls, such as deadlifts, or these rows we're doing. Your muscles, their fibers, your muscles have fibers that go in different directions, which means they, they move your joints, they move your, your bones and your body in different ways. So you need to work the muscles from all the angles that they naturally are made to work from, right? To get the best results and to stay overall fit Okay, so that's why we're doing horizontal and vertical rows. <laughs> and I like to start with the most taxing and difficult for me at the beginning, which is why we got those pull-ups done first every single time this week, right? <laughs> okay, let's get ready. Palms facing forward, chest up, abs in, knees soft, hinge back. Let's go up and hold at the top. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, down up two one thousand two one thousand down up three one thousand two one thousand down up four one thousand two one thousand down squeeze come on five one thousand two one thousand six one thousand two one thousand seven one thousand two one thousand come on abs in eight one thousand two one thousand two more Come on, nine, one thousand, two, one thousand, down, squeeze, hold, nice and slow down in five, four, three, two, one, put them down, shake it out really quick, that's it, pick them back up, let's do our hammer curls, abs in, elbows in, shoulders back, let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, come on, 10, 11, one more, 12. Nice work, here's our minute to rest and recover. Guys, one more set. We're repeating those exercises one more time and then we're gonna cool down. You've made it this far. Be proud of that. And I want you to think about finishing strong. Okay, we're feeling challenged, we're feeling tired, but I want you to focus and be really present. Make each rep your best rep possible. All right. Twenty-five more seconds. Shake it out. Oh, this feels good, doesn't it? Being in week four, the final week of the challenge, we've already come so far. Been working hard on our physical health, our mental health, our relationship with food, with ourselves, with our body, getting stronger, flexing those consistency and discipline muscles, right? To show up every day. Okay, learning to be accountable and to keep promises to ourselves. Okay, palms out, chest up, knee soft, hinge right there, up and hold for one 1,000, two 1,000. Hold, one 1,000, two 1,000. Squeeze, one 1,000, three, down, up. One 1,000, four, down, up. One 1,000, five, down, up. One 1,000, six, down, up. One 1,000, seven, down, up. One 1,000, eight, down, up. One 1,000, nine, down, up. Last one, hold, 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 hold. Nice and slow down in five, four, three, two, one. Put them all the way down. Shake it out really quick. Okay, pick them back up. Last set, best set, everybody. Let's go, elbows in, chest up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, come on. Ten. Give me two more. Eleven. Sorry, I said ten like we were finished. Sorry, I didn't mean to be mean about that. Twelve. Now we're done. Okay, put those down. Put those away. How do you feel? Let's kind of catch our breath and get ready for our cool down and stretch. So while you're down there, spread out your mat. Oh my goodness, sip your water. I'm feeling so happy and pleased that we finished this. So let's get your biceps first. Set your hips back. Just give me some shoulder wrists. Shoulder wrists, wrist circles. Shoulder wrists, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and the other direction, right? And then up and down, up and down. Nice. Turn your fingers back towards you, really slow and gentle. Don't put all your weight on. And just stretch through your forearm and your bicep. <sighs> Breathe. And same thing, but now the back of your hand is on the floor. Fingers still towards you. Gentle pressure, do not put all of your body weight on it. <sighs> Opening up the front side of your forearm and wrist. <sighs> nice. Put your hands down, get into all fours. Go ahead and give me a really nice cat stretch round your back, tuck your chin, look back at your knees. Actively spread your shoulder blades apart. Round your back, back, back. How round can you make it? And let's get the rear delt. Take this back hand, slide it through, lean onto that rear delt there. A couple nice deep breaths. Good 
straighten it up. Same thing, other side, my back's gonna be to you. Oh, that feels good, give me a nice spine twist at the same time. Just give me a nice couple deep breaths. All right, let's get the glutes, hamstrings, lower back a little bit more. Sit up, give me a figure four, cross one leg over the other. And now, push your chest in towards your leg and really stretch there. Oh, that feels good. <sighs> Same thing, other side. <sighs> Push your chest in towards your knee there. Oh, that feels really good to open up the hip to release the glutes some, the hamstrings, the lower back. Release that. Go ahead and stand up. And give me the virtual high fives, everybody. Workout one of our final week is in the books. I hope that we check in with each other right now below in the comment section. Let me know you are here. Check in on Instagram a little bit later and definitely come back tomorrow for our cardio and abs. Until we meet again, no matter if it's on Instagram or right here on YouTube, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, fit friends.